Hi, welcome back to another video about sewing and also a little bit of printmaking. Um, in this video, I'm going to attempt to sew full time in a week. So about 40 hours of sewing. I have no goal. I don't really want to, you know, you have a lot of those videos um, where they make free garments in 24 hours. This is not that kind of video. This is just a video about having fun for a whole week and enjoying myself and just do whatever I want to do. I have had a very busy season. If you're new here, my name is Angelica and I'm a full-time wedding photographer and we have high seasons and low seasons and I am just entering low season, which means I have finished all my weddings, all my edits and I finally have the time to do some proper sewing and I have missed that so much. Uh, about a few weeks ago, I made a video about what I wanted to make this winter and that's what I'm gonna start on in this week. And I'm also going to do a little bit of printmaking and that's what I'm going to start with right now but it's going to be another video and in this video I'm mostly going to focus on the sewing. For now my plans are to start this weekend with a bum bag. That's something I really want to make and I also really want to finish my mock-up of the Blanca flight suit which is a boiler suit and I am considering to start quilting and maybe make a body warmer or something like that. I'm not sure why I'm using these leaves, but let's go. So I've been doing a lot and lots of thinking just for the past few hours um, because my first project is going to be a bum bag. So I don't know the free pattern from Fiber Mood, which I would recommend, but it doesn't include a lining and I really want to add that. And they make the zipper invisible and I want it visible because I this is my lining and this is my fabric, which is an old curtain that I've used before for a vest in one of my videos and I really wanted to make it a bit more modern with a pink contrasting zipper and I really want that to be visible. I also got this, uh, which matches quite well. Didn't expect that, honestly. I uh, just got it off the, off the market just today for a euro. I've been thinking really hard how to make this pattern work for what I had in mind and I I think I've got it, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go and start and see if it's gonna work out. Maybe not. I mean, at least I've tried. So yeah, let's go. Okay, it's getting quite dark now. Four o'clock in the afternoon. It's been a really very dreary day. Perfect for sewing. So I have cut out everything and I think it will look super cute with the pink zipper. And um, I've also cut out a lining and I think I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> Wish me luck definitely not going to finish this today and also um, I have really been thinking about buying a serger once again I just find it too overwhelming <laughs> so I never buy one but this fabric would be perfect to use a serger for because it's really fraying and thick so note to self buy that serger cheers
little update. It is now 8.30 p.m. I haven't had dinner yet. I went into some sort of hyper focus, which isn't always very good because I am then so determined to finish it, even though I get tired and I might make errors and mistakes. Um, but I went for it and it is now finished. I have to admit, I didn't thought it would work out. As always, everything went wrong. In the end, it is far and far from perfect but I am not I'm not bad I, I do kind of like it it is okay and the lining well <laughs> it's far from perfect but it is at least uh, it's lined I guess and it's I can use this so yeah that's my first day of sewing and now I'm gonna make dinner and clean up this mess Do you know those people who get really energized after working out? Yeah, me neither. I am definitely not one of those people. So I need some coffee, lots of coffee, and then let's sew. better autumns than Dutch autumns. We just love seasonal depression here. It's amazing. I have seen the sunshine for 10 minutes today, I believe. It was amazing. Hey. Hmm. So this day, like any other day, I started sewing late in the day. And I was so happy to finally start, but first I had to figure out this mess. I had started sewing this pattern a few months ago and I had cut everything out and it was all just very messy and I had no idea where all the pattern pieces were and uh, well, it took a while. I started with sewing the pockets onto the front bodice as my back piece was already finished but then it started to make a really weird noise and it's a bit unsettling and it turned out I had to clean it it was like cakes with dust and thread so um, yeah I should do that more often It's um, Monday, so day three of my sewing marathon. Um, I'll be too busy today for some actual sewing, I think. I might sew at the end of the afternoon. Yesterday I made a start with my uh, Blanca flight suit mock-up. And I have to take some out today and really try, I think. Oh, I need to get some zippers as well. I should not forget that. I should buy a zipper also today. Um, and I really want to assemble the front today, but I need to make the body piece bodies <laughs> a little shorter, like six centimeters or so. So I need to do some unpicking as well. And I'm gonna make a pumpkin spice cake just now. And then I have a business meeting in the afternoon. And after that, I will get to some sewing, I promise. So on this day, I quickly realized that my 40 hour week of sewing was way too much. I have had some very busy months and I have been looking forward to sewing and creating for so long and so much that I really thought that I needed this. But it turned out I just needed rest. I needed to nourish my body and be healthy, make myself some lovely meals like you see me doing here, 
but also just you know enjoying other youtubers watching netflix reading books all the sewing started to feel like an application which honestly still made me feel a little bit stressed so i tried to let it go for a bit and didn't focus on sewing entirely for this week and i think that was a good decision because as for me as a wedding photographer i'm entering low season and I'll be having so much time to sew in winter, so why not take it easy now? And that's what I did. see me doing here is assembling the pockets i use some lining i used an old lining that i used for a dress it doesn't really fit the purple fabric but i didn't really have anything else and i just wanted to see if it worked out because this is still a mock-up and i also had to unpick the bodice which was a pain in the ass but it was worth it in the end and uh, then i did some more sewing lots and lots of sewing This is why I really, really need a serger and I just bought one. I think it's going to be delivered tomorrow, so it's going to be a little bit too late because I am going to sew this today. But still, I really, really need a serger. Can you look at this? Oh no! This is not something SXX Stitch can fix. No way. I also sewed the color onto the bodice, which is something I haven't done much before, I think only once. And that's always something that gives me a bit of trouble. And then I tried it on and I was just so happy that it fit, because I was so afraid that I had done all this effort and in the end it wouldn't even fit me, like I wouldn't even get into it. Like the hips would be too narrow, or maybe it was just the bodice would be too short or whatever. And I was just so relieved that it fit. And then I just sat on the couch and scrolled for hours. <laughs> no, not really hours, but you know, minutes. I was so tired. It objectively seems to make no sense, but subjectively they've reached a certain level of ease. So I, I can relate to myself in the same way in the regard of if you look at what I quit for and like, stop going to school because I really like... Hi, it's day six of my sewing marathon and um, yeah, it's not going well. <laughs> I quickly realized that I also needed rest. Even though sewing is so much fun, it's, it's still you're still doing something. You're still being productive in some kind of way, even though it's also meditative, I guess. Uh, long story short, what I'm trying to say is I just didn't feel the energy to sew the whole time and that's okay so for today i hope to finish the blanca flight suit but i am not sure because this evening i'm going to the monthly evening we have at the printmaking studio i work there as a freelancer as well and it's an event i go to for years it's every month and you can just walk in and go print something like printmaking lino cuts reso printing print screening you know you only need to like buy the materials or you need to pay for the materials you don't need to buy them they're there and i think it's such a wonderful wonderful event and i really need to go there i go there every every month thing is i really want to make something new every month so i really need to make something and i think i'm going to do this this afternoon i think i'm going to a coffee shop not a dutch kind just a regular coffee shop and make a drawing on my iPad and then hopefully find some space here <laughs> to carve it out on a lino plate. If you've watched more of my videos, you know I'm really into printmaking as well. It's a big passion of me, maybe even bigger than sewing. I have made several videos about printmaking that I have not yet posted because I know people will be more interested in sewing materials, in sewing videos. 
and you don't want to know how many videos I have filmed and stored it and never edited and posted. Um, this might be one of those videos. You never know. If you see this, I have made the effort to edit this and upload it. I digress. Thing is, the Blanc flight suit. Um, I'm really happy it fits. But it barely fits. And also the color. I really, really love it. It's really, really bright and purple. It makes me think of how Tinky Winky would look like if he was a car mechanic. <laughs> don't ask me why. He has been my spirit animal for the last few days. I don't know why. I have been obsessed with Tinky Winky. Um, <laughs> I really, I don't know. He's amazing. And um, if he would be a car mechanic, he would wear my purple suit. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go and continue to do some sewing. Overall, see what I did there? Huh? I had a great time making this. The instructions were very clear. It just takes a lot of time and it is still like a jumpsuit. So you really need to measure everything correctly and probably do some adjustments. But um, yeah, I'm very pleased with it and I really love it. And here you'll see some new prints that I made as they. I really love them as well. The Kingfisher print was really something I just made really quickly. It was uh, it was inspired by an old sketch of mine, and it was just so much fun to make something quickly and experiment with it, and just be surprised, you know, not feel the pressure and just experiment. And it was a really really lovely day. Uh, good morning, it's Friday. It's the last day of my sewing marathon. I'm not sure if it's really a sewing marathon. It's more like a week full of creativity or sort of. <laughs> well, it didn't really work out with the 40 hours of sewing, but I did finish my blank of light suit and uh, a bum bag. And I'm gonna make another bum bag today. This is gonna be the last project of this uh, little challenge. Uh, long story short, for today, my surgery is going to arrive. I am so happy. And I'm gonna make another bomb bag. I'm gonna use this fabric that I bought just not, not so long ago. I think it's more for viscose, it's not perfect for an outside of a bag. So I'm just gonna use a lot of interfacing. I think I'm gonna use this zipper. And I'm not sure yet about the waistband because I bought this green one at the market. Or I'm just gonna use black. Every time I wear this, I feel like Anastasia from the movie. Uh, Anastasia. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the project that made me realize that I need to make mock ups because it's way too big and the lining doesn't fit in anything. So, Make mock-ups, kids. As you can see, my surgery has arrived. It's in a really big black box. Um, I've also cut out all my... Uh, Pieces. That's what I'm looking for. All the pieces for my um, little bum bag. I've interlined it and I'm going to use lining again. Interlined, interfaced. I have used interfacing and I'm going to use lining. And the lining is quite thick. So I think it will work out. But first, some unboxing. So this is the one I got. 
It's a Hobby Lock 774 by Pfaff. <laughs> Pfaff. After much, much, much contemplation, I decided to get one second hand. And I really like the retro vibes on this one. It's very vintage looking. It is vintage and it's vintage looking. And I think that goes with my brand, of course. <laughs> I'm not gonna use this today. This is for another time. But look how cute. It is so adorable. So while well, editing this vlog, I realized I hadn't properly ended it. Ended it. <laughs> okay. So if you've watched everything so far, uh, wow, thank you. <laughs> That's amazing and also a little crazy, but thanks nonetheless. Just a little bomb bag update. It was the last one that I made. It's just a very easy made. I really like this one. I think what I like about this one is it's a little sturdier than the other one because the other one's fabric is just too heavy so it doesn't really pop like this one does not sure if that's the correct term a little correction on the pattern it's the etta by fiber mood and for some reason it seems unavailable right now like when i go to the website and look for it it just says error cannot find page uh, so that's very annoying so if there's any updates on that let me know, but uh, for now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have the pattern for this. Also this week I just had the realization how weird it is that like I have 11, 60s or so subscribers and that like 11, 60 people know who I am. <laughs> I've been online, I've, I've been sharing my life for so many years now and for some reason, all of a sudden, this just feels so weird. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much and um, planning a lot more videos coming soon about sewing and thrifting and all that stuff. So if you like this one, like and subscribe. Okay, thank you. Bye.